everybody. Hello, hello. Hey, Annette. Hey, hey, Paul. Thanks for inviting. Feel free to show the love. Swipe and invite your followers, whatever. Hey, how are you guys? Hey, Annie. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Brenda. Hey, hey, everyone. Oh, you're watching with downtown. <laughs> Thanks, Kimmy. <laughs> hey, Rick and Jenny. Hey, guys. Great job today, Rick and Jenny. So happy for you guys. Sure, it was awesome. Thanks for inviting people, Annie. Hey, Tammy, what's up? Hey, Joy. Hey, hey. So today, um, I wanted to talk about failing your way to success and um, what kind of happened to me, how I got started, the whole salon, the vendor event thing, got my night vision on, I'm not going to crack up today. <laughs> So failing your way to success, some of the tips that I have used and um, things that have helped me out. So I just wanted to share with you guys how I kind of got started and how I got into those salons, which I have quite a few now. Um, the vendor events, the mall thing. Hello. Hey, hey. Thanks, Annie. So when I first got started in network marketing or Jeunesse, um, a lot of people told me that I was going to fail. So I had to build up that resilience, you know, like I heard that it takes four no's to turn somebody off in network marketing. And if it takes four no's, well, you have to build up some resi resilience to this industry. So I came in with this aspect of like, Hey, you know what? I'm not going to worry about failing. So a lot of us in Jeunesse or a lot of us that are listening to this right now, We've been told, go get those salons, go to vendor events, do home parties, do things like that, right? Or watch this video about, you know, this is how you do it. Sorry, there's an airplane flying over right now. There's an airplane. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> so um, we get a lot of video tutorials on how to, but not like an actual experience that someone has actually experienced. So I wanted to tell you what my actual experience was like. So I was running a team. I started to get, ex yeah, exactly. Thank you. So I was running a team of people and everybody was asking me, how do I get into a salon? How do I do this? Is there a video? Well, I've seen some videos, but no one that had actually walked in and had a real life experience with going in. So I said, forget it, Cheryl, just go out there and fail first. You know what? You got to take one for the team. You got to go and fail first. So go for it. Do it. So I did. I was like, all right, here we go. Cheryl, just buck up. Be prepared for failure, and you're about to do this. Um, thanks, Tammy. You are about to do this, and you got to build up your resilience, and that's it. I would listen to some Eric Thomas, get out there and go, right? So I started to find salons, and I was talking to my mom, and she was like, you know what? I know a lady that owns a salon in Philly. She's really tough, blah, blah, blah. Um, you might want to go in there. And I was like, great. You know what? I'm going to go to the toughest person first and I'm going to get everything bad out of my system that I can go right now. I have no idea what I'm doing, but guess what? I'm going to fail so hard at this, whatever, that I'll fail my way to success. I'll fail it. I don't care. I'm going to walk into every single one that I know. Forget it. I got to take one for the team and let them know what actually happened. And I will never forget that day. I was like shaking in my boots kind of thing, but you know how we always say, just do it afraid, do it afraid. So I was about to meet this tough lady. I don't want to say her name, but I was about to meet this tough lady from South Philly. And I walked into the door, right? And I probably kind of seemed unsure of myself, which is something that you want to walk in big, you know, like, Hey, I have magic eye cream sitting in my hand, which of course you do. So I said to her, you know, hi, I'm Cheryl Coco. I'm from Jeunesse Global, and I have this product that can take a line bag wrinkle off your face in two minutes, blah, blah, blah. She was like, okay, great. Let me see it. Like, she did not care. I said, okay. So I went in there. She had somebody who was willing to demo the product on or whatever. And at the time, we had the vials, you know, that we switched to the sachets now. So we were charging about $10 a vial. I put it on the woman's face, her bag went away, the woman just stone-faced, the owner stone-faced, never said anything, and I was like, okay, and the lady was like, how much is it, and I was like, oh, it's $10 a vial, 
And everybody's like, oh, great, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Um, this is fantastic. I'm thinking, great, I'm doing so great. Another airplane, do you believe this? Just keep going. So she took me downstairs. This is no joke. Now, I was at first nervous. Now I'm on this emotional roller coaster. I've built up this, yay, I just did something great. People are so impressed. People want to pay $10 a vial. Woo, I am on it. She took me downstairs, and I'm telling you, she cursed me like I was a child. Uh, worse. Like, cursed me out. Like, are you effing? Effing an A? Blah, blah, blah. You've never done sales in your life, have you? You have no idea what you're doing. You don't ever mention a price to my customers and blah, 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 blah. She took me to the bank. Boy, I felt burnt. And she was like, you need to go and fix it. Fix it now. And I sat there and was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. What am I going to do? I don't know what to do. Oh, my gosh. Cheryl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I was straight panicking. And she just slammed, walked out of the room and walked back upstairs. We were in this basement of her salon. And she literally let me have my butt like I've never heard before. So I went back upstairs and I was just like, oh my gosh, okay, whoo, who saw something? So I said, great, it's $10 for you, thank you for doing the demo. Everybody else, you're going to have to talk to Donna, is the lady's name, forget it. I said, you're going to have to talk to Donna about how you can get a vial of Instantly Ageless. And she just looked at me, stone-faced again. And I was like, congratulations, thank you so much for letting me do the um, demo on you or whatever. And so I sat there for a while, and she let me sweat, and I was like, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> I literally had to go to the bathroom because I was going to pee myself. <laughs> True story. So I went to the bathroom. I came back, <clears throat> and she looked at me, and she's like, okay, let's go back downstairs. Yeah, it was bad. So she was like, okay, let's go back downstairs. And I was like, oh, man, do I want to go back downstairs with this lady? She's, so we got back downstairs. She's like, first of all, I want you to know you have no idea what you're doing. And I don't think you're going to make it in this industry to tell you, first of all. And I was like, okay. And she was like, so how much do you get these boxes for as a distributor? So I just said to her, um, you know, at the time it was $34.95, but we can say $44.95, right? $44.95, right? We sell each of the sachets now for $5 each or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I said, we make about $250 a box in a salon. You can sell them three for 20. You can sell them for however much that you want. So she said, great. I don't know if I'm going to be a distributor or not. Why don't you just give me the box for $44 and 95 cents. We'll call it a day. And all of a sudden I kind of got my confidence back. I said, no, thank you. I'll leave. And she looked at me. I said, you want a box? You can go to my website, buy a box. It'll get delivered to you. You don't need it now, do you? I know you have customers up there waiting for it, but you don't need it now, now, do you? And she just looked at me, and we both looked at her stone, stone face, and she was like, well, how do I get a box, or how much are you going to sell me the box for? She's like, well, what's the retail price on it? And I said, $74.95. And she was like, great, give me the box for $74.95. I said, no, you can go to my website and buy the box for $74.95. You want to be a distributor, and we'll talk about getting you a box at a wholesale price. I'd give you the box right here. I said, otherwise, you got to pay me $2.50 for that box because that's how much I make. And I started to get Cheryl Coco back in me. I said, you want to see a salesperson? Here you go, $250. You want it? I'll hand it to you. Otherwise, it's $2.50 to become a distributor. We can talk, or I can walk away. And she sat there and looked at me. Don't you know she signed up to be a distributor? She is. She's one of the distributors on my team right now. And she drives volume. Salons drive volume into your business. You're not going to sit there and get people that are going to build and, and they're going to tell you that they're going to sign other people up. They don't. They want the profit for themselves. So what I've learned from that situation, I went on to another salon. I kept walking in with samples or sachets of Instantly Ageless, and I just kept on going in. I was like, I got to tell my team. The moment I came out of that salon, I, I called everybody on my team and was like, yo, don't do this. Don't be saying no prices up in there. Some of you have been in sales longer than I have, but let me tell you, whew, that was wicked. That was wicked tough. Don't do that. So I let them know right away that's something that you don't want to do. I said, you have to be standing there confident. You have to be confident. 
I know you're afraid, but you got to stand there with all your gusto about you, and you don't let them get a box from you from, for a wholesale price. You tell them, I know you're going to make a profit off of this, please. Please. Mm-mm. No. <clears throat> I'm sure, I think Annette, ages of 48, you see her? I'm pretty sure that she was on my team at the time when I told that story, and I called everybody from the car and was like, hello, do not do that. Woo! She just handed my butt to me. But I walked out in success, so I kind of failed my way to success there. I went into a few other salons, and I walked in with sachets of instantly ages. Some people did not want to hear from me. Other people did. I found a salon in Medford. And what I found, and listen to this, because this right here is a tip that will get you things about salon owners. They do not want to be sold instantly ageless. They don't want to be sold the skincare thing. You don't go in there telling them, you know... I, I want you to become a distributor. I want this. You go in there and tell them how to. How to sell it. Right? You go in there, do an overview of the place, walk in confidence, stay calm, talk nicely, be calm. Be calm. Show, you know, show your confidence in what you have. You have a miracle eye cream, seriously, that people are going to want to put on their face. They get to get rid of a wrinkle or a line or a bag in two minutes and it lasts all day. Seriously. So, now I tell them, listen, you can set up this table here, you can break off the sachets this way, you can have people apply it, you can charge this, this is how much profit you can make. This is how you sell it inside of your salon. Do you offer facials? Let me tell you about our Luminous skincare line. Let me tell you about the mask. Let me tell you about the ways that you can sell Instantly Ageless, the ways that you can apply it, and the way that you personally, your salon can make a profit. Now that way has then gotten me salons uh, under me a lot easier, a lot easier than going in there. Oh my gosh, I got instantly ages, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I got to go. Bye. No, you tell them how to sell it, how to place it in their salon. What's going to get them the, you know, the best return on their investment. <clears throat> and that's the way to get a salon under you. You've got to be able to do it afraid. And if you have a team of people under you that are counting on you, do not be afraid to fail for them. Take the hits for them. Go out there and do it first. I don't like when people show a video of this is how you can do it, but they've never really done it themselves and they don't have a personal story to tell you. They don't have a personal story to tell you what happened and all the things that went wrong. So that's what happened to me about the salons. So... The salons after that, they've become easy. I share with my teams all the tips that they can do to get the salons under you. Kathy can tell you. Kathy's got quite a few salons under her herself. Rocking it out, Kathy. You go, girl. So, <clears throat> after that, everybody wanted to know about the vendor events. Here come the vendor events. We had a girl, Christy. She was doing great on vendor events. I had no idea. People wanted a picture of the table. I just said, okay, here we go. I'm just going to start signing up for stuff. I'm going to do a vendor event. Let me tell you every single thing that I encounter during the vendor event. So what I found was you cannot be overwhelming people with a thousand products. You have so many people, they want to show the instantly ageless video, the two minute video that you have. Like one time I brought my big, huge Mac with me. You know, the Mac computer, the huge one. Oh, I, I took that thing to an event with me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, at this like, Yard sale thing. Oh, it was like an epic fail, right? I'm trying to get people to stop and watch a two-minute video while they're shopping. Uh-uh. That did not work. The before and after pictures work so much better. Sitting people in the seat for a free demo, <laughs> that works a lot better than stand here and watch this two-minute video on a huge screen. We all know it's jaw-dropping, and somebody can sit there and watch it if they're not shopping and looking at all the other distractions that are around them. <laughs> But yeah, I did. I took my big, huge Mac with me. Won't do that again. I done shuffled every product we own up in there. Shuffled every product. So I started to just sell by the sachet at the events. And then they could order a box from me, um, either by PayPal or the Square. Always have the Square, the PayPal reader with you. Um, or, you know, I could write down their information. They can fill out an order form and I can have them ship it to their house, right? So that was easy. I had like maybe the Luminous boxes sitting there. Um, they weren't trying it. I, I just had boxes of things sitting there. 
Um, some people wanted to try the Zen Fit or the Zen Pro, which was fine. That worked out really easily. But to carry a whole ton of product and to overwhelm people with every single thing that you have, you need the eye catcher. And we have the greatest hook, which is instantly ageless. Just have a few before and after pictures sitting there. And that works so much better. Yeah, just use the boxes. It's okay. But the the fact that you have just a before and after picture and just tell people that that happens in two minutes and lasts all day, but you don't need to bring a huge TV unless maybe you're showing a slideshow on it. The electronic picture frames, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Those picture frames that will like just shoot the before and afters if you load them onto the picture frame. They work a lot better than my Mac showing the two minute video. <clears throat> I'm not sure what they're called, but the electronic picture frames really work. And you'll find that people will buy three for 20 at an event and also get a box later, which is great. They went and bought three for 20. Later, you're giving them your little card with it. And then they, um, the happy screams. Yeah, the screams from the demo. I mean, I had one lady going around like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And it attracted so many people. But the slideshows work a lot better than, um, you know, playing that two minute video or having a ton of product with you trying to get on people. So, did the vendor events. Had to tell people what happened and what was going on and, you know, how much product, how many people. That worked out really well. I got that under my belt. First one. Mm. So bad. My table looked like who did it and ran. I can't even tell you what it looked like, but... Fail on the way to success. Here you go, ladies. This is, I mean, I was shooting video. Here you go, ladies. This is what you do not do. I love when people can tell you. So, yeah, you can sell big $2,000 at a first event. You can sell really big amounts of instantly. The people will just keep buying and buying and buying by the sachet. I always sell mine three for 20. Three for 20 at an event. People, it's, you don't have to make change. And people will swipe the PayPal reader or the, square reader all day long and then they'll come back and buy a box as well it's fantastic um but you know took you got to take the hit for your team right <clears throat> so then i had kathy who's on here right now who did them all so people were asking me cheryl how do you do them all how do you do them all how do you go to the mall and do them all and blah 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 and i was just like okay kathy's coming to connecticut i'm gonna drive my butt to connecticut and get to the mall with kathy kathy had something to do at the mall that day so i was at the mall myself at the mall myself and let me tell you the mall is 100 times harder than a vendor event or a party or anything like that now um who i'm usually don't do what i spend 100 Oh, yeah, you don't need to spend the money on printed papers. All you got to do is show them the results of instantly ageless and ba-boom. So we went to the mall, right? Kathy went with me. Mm, mm. You have got to go to a mall with confidence, confidence. And I will tell you straight out, I did not really have the personality to do the mall. It turned me, turned my stomach. Kathy left. I had to call a girlfriend who is my accountability partner. Um, I called her up and I walked outside of the mall, left everything there. And I was like, Rachel, I can't do this. Rachel, Rachel. She's like, Cheryl, you get your positive personality back and you get your butt back in there and you figure it out because you need to report back to your team. And that's what you're supposed to do. If you want to be a leader, you got to take the hits. Now get in there and figure it out. And I was like, oh, snap okay i guess i gotta get back in here and figure out how i'm gonna get butts in the chair how am i gonna get butts in the chair to do demos so i went back in there and let me tell you if you cannot walk beside a person and say have you seen the two minute video if you cannot walk beside a person and say look at this look at look at this have you seen these results hold a sign get attention be loud yes i have some, it holds my hair back holds my hair back so if you cannot do that in front of people if you cannot grab people's attention if you cannot walk up to somebody and you cannot face nose constantly then maybe not then maybe not going to the mall is for you try the vendor events much easier much easier than going to the mall um but if you have the confidence of kathy beckford 
That girl can rock them all. She was like, hey, come over here and check this out. Hey, come over here, sit down. I need to do a demo. I need to do the demo. <clears throat> Are there rules at the mall? <clears throat> so you have to have insurance to get into a mall. You have to get approved to get into a mall. Um, you can go through compliance and ask for approval to go into the mall, but it's, it's pretty easy if you call up the mall people, um, whoever does it, the booths there, they are happy to get you a place. There's a place. There is always a yes after a flood of no's. You just have to be resilient enough to take the no's so that you can come to the yeses. We sold some serum there. Kathy has had people sign up to be a distributor at the mall. We have done demos, very successful demos at the mall. Um, it depends on the mall. It depends on the mall that you're in and the traffic area that the mall has in the weekend. Like if you do a before school Yes, perseverance. If you do a before school activity, that would be great. Like we talked about maybe doing Black Friday. If you can stop people during their Black Friday rush, but you got bodies. It's all about the bodies. Got to get bodies. So if you can get, the thing of it is, is if you can get bodies sitting in a chair to watch, then you got it. Yes, three for 20. Sashay's the mall. Yes, three for 20. Um, all you have to do is you have to get one person with a crowd to sit down and you can make, at a vendor event, the same thing happens. If you can get somebody to sit down in front of people and watch the miracle happen live and in color, you got it going on. If you got an eye bag like I do, have a seat when people are in front of you. Watch this eye bag come off my face in two minutes. Don't be afraid to show them what it can do. Do not be afraid. So, excuse me, vendor events are rocking you can make big money real quick they're amazing you can sign up people real because they're watching you they're constantly watching you bringing the money bringing the money so um those are some of the things for the events the mall let's uh, i want to throw out about the videos you know if you're talking to your team and you're telling them we should do videos we should do videos we should do videos there are some videos of me right now failing my way to success how do you find vendor events in your area? I just look up um, their Facebook pages, South Jersey Vendor Events. There are, you just look up um, trade shows or events in my area. My, yay! Way to go. <laughs> I'm like reading the comments. Um, so a lot of people, they didn't want to do the videos. So I always talk about failing my way to success with the video. You people, a lot of people on here have watched me fall out of a chair. Get a fan stuck in my hair, fall down while walking. I have tried to, um, I have tried to walk and do a video at the same time. I don't know how people drive and do the video. Mm -mm. Walk and do the video, ate it, clear out, eat it. I apparently cannot walk and shoot video at the same time. That doesn't work for me. But I wasn't afraid to embarrass myself on video, so it. It gave my team a little bit of like, oh, she's fine. She's up in there dancing on video, acting like a fool. She's falling. She's getting stuff stuck in her hair. It'll be all right. If I just be me, it, it's all going to be good. So if you have somebody, one person, two people, it doesn't matter. You're a leader. And if they want answers, you have to be willing. Be, it's okay. Fail your way to success. I mean, I, I am living proof that you can fail your way to success. I can tell you how many no's that I've gotten getting cursed out up in there, getting people whew, crazy carrying stuff all through vendor events, not knowing what in the Sam heck I was doing. I will tell you, I did not know. And there were some moments where I was like, is this for real? But if the amount of salons I have to have, I don't know, 12 more up in there from all over the world in my area. One of the salon owners, she has two other, so now she has like a chain of salons that are signing up. I know we went to um, Louisiana, signed up salons down there. It, it's so possible. It's so po if you just, you gotta be willing to take that first hit and be resilient and just walk in there and just tell them how they can sell it. Not that you wanna sell it to them, but how they can sell it, how they can turn a profit when asking. Yeah, you don't have to be good at the beginning. You really, really, really don't have to be good at all of this at the beginning. It'll come. The three-way calls can teach you things. Going in there, just get the experiences under your belt, and you'll figure it out. And you'll be able to provide people with answers. I think providing people with answers from real life and being true and real to exactly what happened to you. I'm not afraid to tell people the first salon I went into, I got 
chewed out really, really bad. But now they don't have to. Because no one on my team is going to make that mistake. <laughs> because they're going to know, Cheryl made that mistake. I know now not to do it. Now everybody on here is not going to make that mistake. You already know. So don't make that mistake and that's not going to happen to you. You can walk in confident. You already know what to do. <clears throat> yep, lessons learned. Woo, have I learned some lessons. Want to shoot a video? Just shoot the video. It's fine. I actually went from doing my first video, took about 25 takes. 25 takes, my stomach hurt, I couldn't even shoot the video, it made me nuts, I did not look nice, I didn't care, oh, and then all of a sudden I did the, I am doing this video in one take and that's it, so that's why you see falling fans in my hair, whatever it takes, and then now I'm, it's easy for me to shoot Periscope, because I'm like, oh, well, what can possibly happen to me, am I going to fall off a chair, do whatever, I mean, seriously, what can possibly happen to me that has not happened to me on Facebook? I shouldn't even say it. B has come after me on Periscope. I just kept on going because Lord knows, um, you know, you just got to roll with the punches. Just keep going. So don't do it afraid. Do it afraid. Take the hits for your team. Don't worry about it. If you have a question or you want to know how you can do something, ask me. I would be more than happy to go and do it first. I don't know. Not afraid to fail. The, the failure has been lessons learned, like someone said, has been lessons learned and has really gotten a lot of success on my team and has gotten a lot of people on my team easily signing up salons, easily killing it, killing it at vendor events. you got to make sure that you're duplicatable. Thanks, Kathy. I will always do my best to help you. If you're doing an at-home party, we struggled with the at-home party on my team for so long, and then it became... Just show the two-minute and the 14-minute video. You know why? Because people on your team or people that are willing to sign up know that they now don't have to make a speech. It's easy. It's duplicatable. You know, you could do some samples of Instantly Angels, but you could show them. And yes, you have got to be duplicatable. You cannot be doing backflips up in there at a party and then expect somebody to sign up thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to know every single thing about every single product and know everything. And oh my goodness, this is so overwhelming, I can't do it. You've got to be duplicatable. You've got to make it really simple. So now I tell my people when I walk into a salon, I say, Hi, how are you? My name's Cheryl Coco. I'm from Jeunesse Global, and I have a product that works just like Botox without the needles. Take a line bag, wrinkle off your face in two minutes, last eight to ten hours. If you're interested, I can give you a demo and tell you how this product can make your salon a whole lot of money. And then that's it. That's all that I say. That's all that I do. It takes me two seconds. And whether they want to or not, I just keep going on to the next one. And then I go to the next one. And then I go to the next one. And just keep on going. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. But, yeah, I am so willing to help. My husband's dancing in front of me right now trying to make me laugh. <laughs> you can see a shadow going through. But we're just going to keep on going. So if anybody has any questions, you can find me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Cheryl.coco.7. <clears throat> Please feel free to ask me any questions. Make huge, huge profits off of the, those sachets of Instantly Ageless. Get quick money in your pockets, people. And also, if you're sending out sample packages, if you want to know about upgrading to Sapphire, if you want to know about upgrading that ambassador pack and how to put together um, sample packages, what really helped me in the beginning is I put together these sample packages from my ambassador pack, I sold 28 of them at $30 each and made back the investment on my um, package. Made the investment back, got paid at Sapphire, ran to Sapphire, made Sapphire in 90 days, got me um, distributors, it got me people. I saw your, where do you post about, I saw, where do I post about, Vanessa, where do I post about what? I'm sorry, I'm going to wait. Yeah. I mean, I'm 35. I get I get some good results with insulin. How do you sell? Oh, so how do I sell the pack? So first, the thing that um I, the thing that helped me sell the packages was um I'll get to that in a second. But I said the thing that helped me sell um, with the packages was going around and talking to people that I actually knew, or having a party or talking to people that I actually knew that wanted to try the product first. Um, <laughs> that was fresh face for you. I got in. <laughs> Is that Charlie? <laughs> Charlie? Sorry, my accent's gone out. 
But to sell the packages is was word of mouth is what got me the package. <laughs> that was funny. Word of mouth got me a lot of those packages sold. It got a lot of people selling product, first of all, or a lot of people tasting and trying product. I have people that love Zen now that um, are all over it and people that are actually in my hometown and people that I've mailed some stuff out to just from word of mouth was the best way. And if you could sell the packets at a vendor event so that people can try everything. So the packets include two sachets of Instantly Ageless, one Zen Fit and one Zen Pro, uh, the watermelon and the fruit punch. Yes, I'm. Uh, so two sachets of Instantly Ageless, one Reserve, one Zen Fit and... Two of the Zen Fit, so one watermelon, one fruit punch, and then one Zen Pro. So somebody can choose chocolate or vanilla sample pack. It's called the New You and Two Pack. So you could sell those packs, especially at a vendor event, and people get to try one of the Zen Pro, two of the Zen um, Fits. They get to try a reserve and two sachets of Instantly Ageless. And from the Ambassador Pack, you can make 28 of those packs and sell them for $30 each which makes you $840. Now that packet is $10.99. If you came in on the $200 pack, you can upgrade to that package. And now you're getting paid at Sapphire. You just made up the $840. Now you got people to try your product and you have possible distributors from getting those out and you have um, people, possible customers and possible preferred customers from the reserve. You can also do, you know, sell your seven day serum sample packs or whatever you want to do. You, I split up the luminous and the tiny, um, they have these tiny things, um, jars or whatever on Amazon. And I would put a little, um, cleanser, a little serum day and night cream in those and sell those for 20 bucks. You know, I wouldn't say it gave you a certain amount of days. I would just say you get to try each and every one of the products. That's going to make you some money because you know, you have several bottles of each of those that come in the ambassador pack as well. Oh, I did. I saved this video. <laughs> Thanks, Trace. So, yeah, um, the Ambassador Pack really did help me get a lot of customers, and people sell them at vendor events. People want to try everything. People love to try stuff, and for 30 bucks, you don't have to make change. Sell your sachet three for 20 You don't have to make change. It's fantastic. So it gets a lot of people trying a lot of stuff. I really like that. If anybody has any questions, anybody got any questions? Salon questions, vendor event questions, party questions, anything. Anything they want me to go out there and try? <laughs> Tracy, you know I need to memorize this. Thanks, Trey. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. So, um, you know, at my son's karate, the guy always says, information changes the symptoms situation information changes your situation just go and get as much information as you possibly can and go and change your situation that's what i did for the sample um post i you know it, i just shoot an instantly ageless video and i put you can get a sample here and uh, people love that you know people were constantly asking me about the preparation age thing my mom did not want to put butt cream on her face but I was like, Mom, how many people are going to ask me if Preparation H works as good as Instantly Ageless? Seriously. <laughs> like, we have got to shoot a video. And then I was showing her some of my messages. She's like, yeah, we got to shoot a video. Because this is crazy. You know no Preparation H ain't working like Instantly Ageless. So we did the video. If you can answer somebody's uh, problems in the video, answer them. Somebody asked me about Reserve and how it helps diabetics, right? So I did that um, video on Reserve for diabetics. That got me a, pre a preferred customer. Because now they're constantly taking the reserve because I can help answer any of the questions that reserve did for diabetics. Did you guys know that you could put reserve on something, especially if you have like gout or something? It's great. And then if you have a wound, instantly ageless. Thank you so much. Instantly ageless or not instantly ageless reserve. You can like take it out of the gel pack and put it on something because it's an antioxidant and it really helps diabetic people do a reserve facial. Do the reserve, oh my gosh, on a wound that a diabetic has or whatever, anybody's wound. Seriously, take it out of the gel pack and put it on there. Woo! Yes. Antioxidant. You've got to love it. So good for diabetics. Um, I talk about the reserve. 
Thank you so much. Seriously, it's awesome. I absolutely, seriously love Reserve. Guys, if you have um, the TTO due diligence page, so much great information there. Just go watch the videos when you have time. Plug your headgear in. I listen to them at night sometimes on, um, I, I always forget the French guy that does the Reserve videos, but his voice is stuck in my head. He's like, Reserve. Yes, give Reserve to kids. I know um, that's awesome, Tracy. But for my kids who get sick in the winter, give them a packet of reserve. It's amazing. So try and answer people's questions with, um, you know, your videos. If they're asking questions about reserve and they want to know about how it helps diabetics, an answer their question. And it's probably somebody else's question. If they're asking you about Preparation H versus Instantly Ageless, well, you can put out the video and answer thousands of people in one video. That's, that's awesome right there. So, yeah. Anybody? Question? Did I not touch on anything? I hope I helped. No more new? Yes, that's awesome, Brenda. Two, yes. That's awesome, Trey. So, if any, nobody has AM, PM. Oh, my gosh. So, I, I just joked around. I think I was on the phone with Charlie when I was joking around. Dance <laughs> There's a video of me dancing. But I think I was talking to Charlie. I'm like, I think everybody that um, is in Jeunesse, they can take the AM. But I, I cannot be taking the PM. I, I'm a busy lady. Be knocked out. That stuff is getting your biological clock or whatever you want to call it, your bio rhythm all set up. Be getting a good night's sleep and going through the morning. That is some good stuff. I don't know. I'm like, whew, I cannot take the PM tonight. I got to be up early. It's 2 a.m. I got to be up at 4.30. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Thanks, Trey. Love you, girl. All right, guys. Thanks for showing the love. Thanks for the heart. I can't. Oh, no. Womp, womp. I wouldn't think it would be harmful. It's like a natural, all antioxidants. I'd be, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Can't give that kind of information. <laughs> But thanks for the love, you guys. If you guys have any questions, seriously, just send me a PM on Facebook. I'd be happy to help you guys out at all. Oh, uh, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to start laughing. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll be able to help you guys out. If you need a video, I'd be happy to shoot it. If you want to see me dance, you know that video is out there. <laughs> thank you, guys. All right. One. Oh, that's cool. See, we're finding out all kind of information. All right. I'm going to head off here. Talk to you guys soon. Do I do a lot of it texting? Do I do a Thank you. Thank you. Do I do... Do you guys use the Facebook Messenger app? I talk to a lot of people. I'm so much better on the phone. I'm not good at the texting. I can never... You know how, like, there's emotion in your voice... So if people seriously, if people know this for a fact, that if someone sends me a message on Facebook, I immediately either send them a video message back or I voice message them. You have got to get the Messenger app and voice message people. Save your thumbs. I'm doing a Save the Thumb campaign right now. Send the voice messages first. You can hear your emotion. Hey, have you seen the two-minute video? Oh, my gosh, it's jaw-dropping. Cannot text that. Can you text that? <laughs> But yeah, like your voice message, have you seen the two minute video? Oh my goodness, it's jaw dropping. It's so much better than tap, 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 tap. Yeah, the voice messaging is rocking. And sometimes, you know, I get crazy. I send the, like, the um, video messages like, have you seen the two minute videos? <laughs> you, you girls that are on my team know I send you guys some crazy messages. I'm crazy looking. Mm, doing the team, you getting some video, crazy video messages from me. But, um, yeah, I did freak some people out. I always do. I love it. I love it. All right, guys, thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please find me on Facebook, Cheryl.Coco.7. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye.